Good morning. Pastor Todd here with the Daily Devotion. I'm so glad you're joining me online. I know some of you will join later and that is great as well. Today is Thursday, March 15th, or excuse me, Thursday, March 11th. A little technical problem on my phone there, so hopefully you can still see me. Anyway, today is Thursday, March 11th. And so glad you are present with me. And it is a beautiful day. Hi, Bernadine. Glad you're joining me here. It is a beautiful day here in Kansas City. I'm not sure. I know many of you watch from many different places. Hi, Charlene. Today, um, we had some rain here yesterday and beautiful, cool day with the sun out. Hi, Harry and Chris. Glad you guys are joining here as well. Um, so looking forward to spring, and hopefully you are too. Um, things will start to green up soon here in this area. Um, <clears throat> as you know, as pastors, we've been going through John Piper's book. And we've been studying. Hi, Bob. Glad you're here. We've been looking at the 50 reasons why Jesus came to die. And today we're going to look at another one of those reasons. And it's chapter 23 of John Piper's book so that we might belong to him. So let's get started. I'm going to share a couple scripture verses with you to start off with. Romans 7, 4. You also have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead. 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 and 20. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. Acts 20, verse 28. Care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Hi, Melanie. Glad you're here. Christ suffered and died so that we can be free from the law and the consequences of sin and belong to him. Morning, Ted. Glad you're here as well. Let me say that again. Christ suffered and died so that we can be free from the law and the consequences of sin and belong to him. That's huge. And hi, Cheryl and Bill. Um, I hope you really get that. And I know sometimes we think we understand it and we process it at a certain level, but our lives, our eternal lives are at stake here and he paid the price. It's huge. Just picture yourself, if you didn't have Christ, where you would be versus with Christ, where you're going to end up. And it's, it's a very, very big deal. So hopefully you ponder that. What Christ did for us is huge by providing us eternal life. So we are not separated from God, but eternally with God. Hey, Drake, glad you're here. And I know you've heard this before. I think it's just good to sit and meditate just on that concept alone. It's huge. So that we might belong to him. What Christ did for us. So that we can belong to God for eternity through faith in Christ. Huge. When we commit our lives to Christ, a new life begins. We die to our old life and we begin a new life with Christ. Do you remember what life was like for you? prior to you committing your life to Christ. In your old life as an unbeliever, as a non-Christian, we were focused on ourselves and what we want, and we relied on our own selves for our source of power for our daily living. In our new life, as a believer, as a Christian, as a follower of Christ, we're focused on God and what God wants and we rely on God as our source of power for our daily living. As Christians, we have been saved by faith in Christ. We are dead to the law and the consequences of sin because we belong to Christ. Hi, Pam. Glad you're here as well. And I'm going to read Romans 7, 4, which we started with again. You also have died to the law through the body of Christ so that you may belong to another to him who has been raised from the dead. As Christians with our identity in Christ, we have a new outlook on life. We exist to bear fruit for God. We belong to him as believers. Let's pray. 
Lord God, there are so many promises in Scripture, and today we're just looking at one of the reasons why you came to die. And Lord, it's um, so that through faith in Christ, we could belong to you. Lord, we're just so grateful that Jesus willingly and obediently gave his life for each one of us, and that you created a way that through faith in Christ and what he's done on the cross, paying the price for our sins, and then his resurrection from the grave, when we believe in him and what he's done for us, we're given eternal life. We belong to you forever, not to anyone else. No longer we're bound to the law. No longer are we um, in our own focus, centered on ourselves, but we're focused on you and what you want, and we belong to you. God, thank you for that great gift that you've made possible through Christ. I love it that we belong to you as believers. Thank you again, God. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you take today's message and you share it with somebody else. You know, I think it's one thing for us to get it as Christians. It's another thing for us to be about sharing this good news with other people that need it. And Lenten season is the perfect time as we prepare. Hi, Melanie. As we prepare to go and celebrate Easter and Christ's resurrection. I think this is a great time for us to get out there and make this known. God's going to do the work of converting, but we need to be talking about how we can belong to him, how we belong to him as Christians, and how others can belong to him as well. So let's get out there and share this message with just one other person this Lenten season would be awesome. And if this was helpful for you, today you can share this devotion you know, with whoever you'd like post it to your Facebook page. Just sit down with somebody over coffee and view it again and then talk about it. I think that's a great way to do it as well. Um, next Thursday, which is March 18th, I will not be with you. I'm going to be out of town. And But Paulo Barros will be doing the daily devotion online. So you want to join him. You won't want to miss it. Paulo is our worship and arts director at our Overland Park campus. And um, you'll be so glad to jump in and join him at 10 o'clock on Thursday, March 18th. He's got a message waiting for you. So please do join him online for that. And tomorrow, on Friday, Pastor Bob will be on at 10 o'clock. Please join him for the daily devotion tomorrow. Well, God bless you. And I will see you once I return. So that would be the 25th of March. I'll be back online. God bless you and have a great week.